Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex, and we have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and it's kind of a big one. Well, bigger than what I've normally been getting. How about that? But there's a lot of fall and Halloween, some new, some not new, some new to me, maybe not to you, but let's get into it. Oh, my shirt. Okay, first and foremost. Some of it's repeat from different stores because I found other things. But let's get ourselves a little organized here, shall we? We shall. Okay. These are boring, but I use them. They're for my air fryer. They are parchment paper liners. They keep me from having to wash my air fryer every time I use it. And then I have two other kitchen gadgety thingies that are strict, well, three. Um, I found this. It is a Bengals. My cousin is a Bengals fan, like a little lunch container. Um, you can microwave in. I don't microwave in plastic, but you can. But it's a Cincinnati Bengals. And then I found him a coaster of the Cincinnati Bengals. I think he will like that. And I'm actually going to be seeing them here shortly, so that is perfect. And then the other kitcheny thing I purchased were these. I don't know what this is, so I bought it. I mean, I do know what it is. It's a silicone lids, stretch lids. Let's open this up and see. You get three. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna do it here. So what you do is you stretch it over your glass bowls or metal, I guess, and it sticks, right? So for those bowls that you don't have lids for, and you get three different sizes in here. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't know. We'll see how this works. It's silicone. It's kind of stuck to itself. There you go. And this is the medium, the small, and then you get a large. Okay. Sorry for my nose. I am running. Okay. Now, I picked up these little vases, little tea light vase thingies for a project. You get four. They're just like, you just put a candle in them. We've seen them before. I grabbed those for a project. I got a lot of stuff for projects here. Um, I grabbed a safety razor to take to work. So I bought the space tape at the Dollar Tree and I put it on a glass window to hold up a sign and I can't get it off. I mean, I can't even get it to undo the sign from the glass. So I'm gonna bring this in on Monday and hope for the best. Pray for me. Okay, now, I'm dying. First of all, I think I have like 20 of these. What? All right, this is my thumbnail. Like what? They're giant. They're giant coffee cups. So, yes, you can use this side. This is obviously the pumpkin side, but my thought was filling this in with that lightweight joint compound, letting it dry, and then I can make like Christmas themed as well. So I grabbed a bunch. I think I have like five or six all together because I wasn't sure. Also, if I wanted to make like a hanging sign that turned, I have enough. Let's be honest, I have more than I need. I don't care, I went crazy. Because they're big coffee cups. And you guys know I have a coffee problem, right? I mean, oh, let me put this back in these bags. If you didn't know, I have a coffee problem. Okay, here's another small bag with some more. I, I wasn't kidding. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, four, five. I have six. That's enough for now. And I didn't get them all at one store. And every store I left some, so I didn't do that. Oh, and then for fall a coffee cup that says pumpkin spice and cozy nights. I don't think these are new. I know the cup is not new, but this design may be new. I don't remember. From last year. Oh, and then I just got myself some sugar-free chocolate. Okay, then I picked up 
some of these little scatter pumpkins in yellow, orange, and like a maroon color for a project. A lot of this is for one project, and I'm going to show you that one project when I get to it. I'll tell you about it. Um, some glitter. It's the super fine glitter for said same project. Um, stickers. Oh, okay. These are definitely new. Not the jar. I've seen the jar before, but not ones that say thankful on it. Now I have to wash this first and it's just a decal sticker that's on there. I will not put it in the dishwasher, but I would definitely wash it in the sink uh, because all their glass stuff always feels weird to me. Um, so I'm going to put candy in it for work. So it's as thankful. Um, yes, it is part of their $1.25 section. One, I went to like five stores today and only one I saw this. So it's coming. I think, you know, this is the last weekend here, I think before school starts in my area. So all the stores were packed with back to school shopping. But I grabbed that. And then to fill it, I'm going to fill it with, I should have just bought bigger, but um, I got salty caramel cream, Werther's, old lady candy, caramel apple, and then I got two of the hard, of the, of the hard caramel apple candies. I mean, I feel like caramel apple is the move for fall, right? I'm going to do that for fall. Um, after I decorate that, I'm not bringing this all into work right this second, but I'm starting to get things together for my team for fall. So candy jar. Then I got this for a project and I will show you said project and I will probably do a video, but I got that. And then I got, maybe this is as much as I thought. Um, some glue. It's basically the Dollar Tree's version of E6000. It's called Fix All Adhesive and it works fantastic. And I like getting it in these little containers um, because the large containers tend to get like gross, you know, if the big E6000s. Okay, so I have to reach. We, we knew these are not new for most of you, but they are pretty new for me. So we have a salad plate and I found a dinner plate today. So what I think I will do is spray paint this wine glass. Mm, too tall, maybe. We'll do we'll do some figuring, but I want to do a tray, potentially a tiered tray, with these two, or spray these black and just do small little levels. And then I can put some fall stuff on it. So one or the other, this is black. I couldn't tell if it was blue or black, but it is black. And I just think it was super fun for Halloween. I can also put a couple feet on this and make it one height, you know, and do multiple heights. I just thought that would be super fun. And since I found the dinner plate, and if that this doesn't end up working out, it's fine. I will figure out a use for that. Um, oh, my itch. Sorry. Okay, so the other things I got was some ribbon. I did find that dark blue ribbon, but I think I like this better for fall. And then I got in the Halloween section, they have this velvet, which actually matches this. So I thought, I'm going to make a bow. And then I bought at Hobby Lobby a cornucopia that I'm gonna put foam in and then some greenery and use that on my front door. And I was gonna make a bow. And I don't need a giant bow, but I did get two and maybe use this as an accent. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I love little things for the record. What the heck? Look at these little tiny Mentos. Yes, it was $1.25. Yes, it was probably a little expensive. You get 10 pieces of Mentos. But it's adorable. And I'm going to keep this little container for my purse and put my Advil and Sudafed and stuff in it. I know. After I eat the gum. But I just love me a miniature. 
and that was adorable. If you're doing advent calendars, stockings, this would be great stocking stuffers for like your teens or adults because it's just little, you know, or little advent treats for adults. Perfect. And when is this Best Buy? It was produced in March of 24, uh, Look, I think March of 26. So you can totally stock up. They had them in green and blue. I know. Crazy. Okay, next. Candy. Okay, now I was at, oh, this is from the $5 section. I used this Sensodyne and it's extra whitening. Hence the coffee problem, right? I got coffee. I need whitening toothpaste but I like a Sensodyne. Okay, this was new at my store and it was with the black and white stuff. I love these little oven mitts. Um, and this one has a gripper on it, like rubber, which I love. These are super fun. This is a Dollar Tree brand, but if you think about like this with, and then you can put like a cookie mix or something and do like a neighbor gift, that would be super fun. If somebody just moved in, get a pair of these. I like them because they're not like giant in my drawer and they protect my hands. I already have some, but I needed more. I mean, I didn't need more, but I wanted more. Yes. Okay, here we go. These are the three sets I got. These are all rub-on transfers. I will tell you, if you have not used the rub-on transfers, your best bet is to cut them and do it right away. Like get a bunch of stuff going at one time. Do not try to store these because they don't necessarily store very well once you've opened them up but you get these and i just love these i love the ghosts and the trick-or-treat and the little mice and then this one here um i totally just want this raven right there i mean i love the pumpkins but i love that raven and then here is the other one with the cat so these are the three that i have seen so far and these work great on wood glass and paper. So I grabbed these. We'll see what becomes of them. And then I found these, which I feel like I've seen this style of thing before, but maybe not these exact. And they're just burlap little sticker flowers. And I thought they would be super fun. Burlap always brings me to fall for some reason. I'm not sure. Maybe because it kind of looks like hay. I'm not sure. But burlap kind of brings me to rustic fall. And I thought, oh, these would be fun to decorate some things with instead of those. Um, that's super exciting. Oh, yes. So I got the green, but I started eating that already because I love this gum. So now I have, these are the two that they come in. And then I do have to go buy one more and I will toss these in my advent bucket that I'm starting. Um, for the project that I got the glitter and these harvest pumpkins, I grabbed Mod Podge. I got the matte Mod Podge. Matte is what I purchased for reasons. Yes, matte. Um, so these three things, I'll put them together because they're for one project. And then I grabbed some more iron on. I've got to do a video tomorrow of a heat press and I wanted this for the cat, obviously. And that, I mean, it's cute. So I grabbed some more iron on stuff. This is so fun. I cannot wait to open this. It's like a fidget toy. It's called a Mega Flex. And I did see on another channel, I think it was Surf de Divas. She saw them in keychains. But these are just like a fidget tool, a fidget toy, which I'm fidgety. So it, it's just like, you just play with it. You can make it into an oval, long, it bends. You can just play. Like it's so satisfying sensory wise. I don't know. I love it. It's just a sensory toy, but I think it'll be fun to like put on my desk at work. And if I'm on a call or something, I can... I used to bring Play-Doh, not Play-Doh, Silly Putty to work and play with it on my desk when I was on the phone. Like if I'm on a call or something, but this is super fun. So I grabbed one of these in green. They had keychains. I haven't seen the keychains yet. Oh, I. 
What else am I missing? I am missing something, but I'll get this next. Okay, and I feel like I bought these last year and didn't do anything with them, but this year, gosh darn it, I'm gonna do something with them. So I grabbed one of each. These are like rope pumpkins. This is raffia. This is like, yeah, this is raffia. I think they're all raffia, yes. But they're made out of natural fibers, and I'm going to put them in the cornucopia. Well, at least one of them, whichever one I think matches, and then maybe one or two in the house. But I love the texture. Look at it. It's so rustic. And I love this for fall. And then I might take some to work. You can totally cut these down and put them at different heights in a arrangement. They had the, the knitted ones back that I saw, and then like the velvety ones on a stick so i did that okay for this project i grabbed these two things number one i got these because i think i want to make felted ornaments and this makes a great center ball and then you put your felt around it and it makes it lighter weight and easier to deal with so i think that is why i got this size and then for my project, I got a pack of six of these. I only need two, but that's fine. These are the little ones. These are one and a quarter inch. One and one quarter inch. And to go with those, I got these. I saw on TikTok, somebody was showing a um, pottery barn cloche this is a cloche a pottery barn um ghost in the cloche right so you would peel this off and i will definitely be doing a diy video on this i need to find i think a a, ba a skewer would fit down in that hole i'm going to paint this a different color and you take the mod podge and some fabric and you make a ghost and it will stand in here and you can make it lighted which is nice um We'll see if I make it lighted or not. So I grabbed two of these cloches. They seem to have them all the time. I am going to paint this, like I said, a different color. And then, well, for kitchen, I just grabbed some more of these mixing. Like these bowls are fantastic. If you're a condiment person or like my cat, he loves a little bit of milk. And so I put them in these these little bowls on the floor for him and then he gets his little milk out but these are great they're condiment bowls you can use them for like if you're um, making a recipe and you need to measure out your ingredients again they need to go through the dishwasher they're that weird texture that weird oiliness to them i don't understand that at all but who am i you know Okay, so I think I think that was everything. I felt like I got a lot more than I did. Now, we're going to call this a big haul because it was super exciting. And then I bought more fabric, which is over there. But to make the ghost, I got white fabric. You can also use cheesecloth. But all the stuff I got is for that project, and I will have a DIY coming up. All right, I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed my super big Dollar Tree haul this time. I'm excited because the following's giving this stuff is coming out and that makes me happy. And yeah, all kinds of new stuff to explore. I can't wait to see what Christmas has in store for us. All right, guys, I will talk with you later. Bye.